So this past weekend, Bethesda came out as well as Xbox and said, hey, these are the projects that we've been working on. And Starfield was obviously the one people were most anticipated about. And I kind of want to share with all of you guys my raw reaction of what I kind of thought of Starfield. And not only do you get my reaction, but you have my buddy Vitrick, who is in the last video. If you guys go to kick.com forward slash Vitrick, it'll be in the description down below. You guys can get all thoughts on Starfield. And I want to know, what are your thoughts on Starfield? Are you hyped or are you not? We're starting at three. Two, one, go. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. I appreciate the follow back there. The wonder is. I love how open not that it the is. Field like of it stars looks cool. So vast, I love the look of this game. But that we have measured. But I have so many questions. It's just single player. It's not multiplayer at all. See, that just turns me off. Single player? Yeah. For the most part, yeah. It just turned, like, I, I, like, I can only play a single player game or play by myself for so long. We're all here because yep. we're committed to the biggest question of all. Especially, like, I feel like with this game, with how open and vast what? it is, literally, you, if you see a planet off into the distance, you can hop in your ship, leave one planet, and then drive to another planet. You can customize your ship, you can customize virtually everything. You can make a, a base, you could fight aliens. Like, there's just so much. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Maybe. You're part of Constellation. I, I don't know. I just, I was hoping this game was going to be part bigger and grander than what it was. This is a, like a Star Wars and. Destiny kind of vibe. Destiny really kind of vibe. No finer group in the stars. And it seems like there's different, fa like there should be different factions. You I'll could like, you, from here on out you could also like create a base and customize your base however ready. you want it. I love this part. You say no, someone's gonna make a mod for multiplayer. I would hope so. I mean, it took them 25 years, quote unquote, to make this game. These are. This literally looks just like us. Right? We've yeah. been looking for another great secret. The universe is asking us to unravel. This was the bi this was the big unveiling this weekend for Xbox. This is the thing the that they were proud to every... announce. And I'm like, this game looks cool. Like, here's the gun. The gunplay looks interesting. But it's like, what? What is this game? Third we person, are first not person. stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road, mm, I, I just, will mm. change <laughs> forever. I, that doesn't do it for me. Not the way. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm the same way. Everyone was this so so hyped for this game. I'm watching this. I'm like, belong. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's it for me. It's like it's the same idea as like Hogwarts Legacy was probably one of the best games I've ever played in a long time. Oh, really? You but, played it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You did play it a little bit. But it would have been so much better if they would have added some sort of a co-op experience into it. Yeah. Expe I, I, in 2023, gaming is so much like a, a group it's social. social. Yeah, it's a social yeah. activity. And in a game like Starfield, it, to me, it seems like it would be crazy to go like, hey, let's. I, I found a new planet. Let's go there. You want to explore it. And there's like hostile aliens there. And we have like, oh, shit, we got to get the fuck out, you know? And that, yeah. But that's like a whole thing. That I don't want to do that by myself. I don't want to fly there and fucking, I don't know, listen to some NPC as I'm flying there. 